Hello everybody, today I will show you how to deactivate the automatic logout of the SAP GUI on a SAP system. By default the SAP GUI is automatically closed after one hour of inactivity. There are now two ways to change this. First, with the transaction R set 11, here we type in the parameter GUI auto logout and here we can set the new values to zero. So the problem with this is that the setting disappears again after every system restart. Since I restart the Docker container frequently, this restriction has always bothered me a bit. Next, I with the transaction um, TU02, we see the list of active parameters and here we can search for the parameter uh, GUI out or logout and we see the current value is 3600 seconds. So now let's change this with the transaction R set 10. Here we see three profiles, default and two instance profiles and the last one I want to change today. So here I want to add one parameter. So, but first back up this profile because if we do some mistakes here, it could be possible that the system won't be start again. So we have to search for the profile on the file system. And now we need the file path. For this, we go back to the SAP GUI and we type here the transaction ST11. And then we scroll down here. And here we see the path where the instance profile is stored. So now we go back to our Docker container for Windows to the terminal. And now we change the directory to this path. So you user SAP A4H sys and profile. So now let's see the list here. Okay, we see here three profiles and now let's back up the instance profile called a4h underscore d00 and so on. So I type here cp for copy, then I copy the original file to a backup file. So I add here the postfix underscore bak for backup. Okay, now we have saved this file and now we can go back to the transaction r set. And so let's open this. Then we pick the instance profile, A4HD00 and so on. Then we click on extend maintenance radio button and then on the button change. So, and here we add the parameter rdisp slash GUI auto logout. So I paste this par the parameter name here. Then I set the parameter value to zero. Then I click on the button copy. So we have an comment line here. And then we go back. We see here the new added parameter with the value zero. Then we go back. Then we save the changes. Then we click here on save. Okay, we have some errors. So let's scroll down. Okay, the parameter initial size megabyte is invalid. Okay, so I think there is a default value, so we can delete this parameter. Yes. Then we go back, we save the profile. And now we activate the profile. Okay, the profile is activated in version 22. OK, 
Okay. Now we could do a inconsistency check, but for our example, we today we do not do this. So we click on no. And now let's restart our Docker container, our SAP system. So we click here on the menu on the right on restart. So a couple of minutes later, the system should be online again. So we open the SAP GUI and we try to connect to the system. Okay. Click on log on. So, okay, the system starts, so that's good. And now let's check with the transaction TU02, the active parameter from this system. So we search again for the parameter rdisp GUI auto logout. And here we see that the default parameter value is now zero. Okay, so we can check this with the transaction rset11. So I click here on display, we see here the kernel default value is 3600 and the instance profile is zero. And the instance profile overruled the kernel default here. So we do not, uh, it's not necessary to change the parameter again after every restart of the system. That's a big advantage. So yes, at the end, as always, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.